Hearing all of the other events canceled or postponed, it of course seemed like it was just a matter of time for the Detroit Grand Prix as well. Yeah, you're right, Devin. The official announcement, though, to cancel the race was made today. Jamie Edmonds has reaction and a look at how the decision was reached. If the Detroit Grand Prix went on as planned, organizers would have to start set up on Belle Isle on April 20th. Obviously, that goes against the governor's stay home, stay safe order, so they had to pivot. Yeah, we are very disappointed not to have the Detroit Grand Prix this year. Um, it means so much to our city, to our state, to our region, and most importantly to Belle Isle Park. So it's very disappointing we can't have it. But it's the right thing to do this time, obviously, with the pandemic. That's Bud Denker, chairman of the Detroit Grand Prix. He says the first idea was to move the races to October. There's a lot of parties involved when you schedule an event like this. Um, the first party involved is Michigan part of Net Natural Resources, Ron Olson and his team, because they they are the managers of the state park of Belle Isle, and they are the people we rent the park from for that period of time. So in working with them to try to find an alternate date, we looked at several during the month of October. But they found so many weddings and receptions on Belle Isle at that time, it meant even October wouldn't work. There were some 40 weddings and 19 receptions and celebrations going on during that period of load-in. So we couldn't disrupt one, let alone 40. So there was just too much disruption. So they made the tough call to cancel for this year. Drivers like Joseph Newgarden, who won here last year, are disappointed. It's a big bummer we're losing Detroit. To see the city of Detroit and to see that event in 2012 and where it is now, um, it's been a really fun progression. And the, the city is probably one of the most supportive places I've ever been for an event and for the growth of Belle Isle. Danker says no race means millions of dollars lost for the city and for Belle Isle. To plan properly and to be less disruptive, we made the decision as hard as it was because remember this brings over $50 million of benefit to our city by having this event. It brings millions of dollars to Belle Isle and it brings hundreds of thousands of dollars to the Belle Isle Conservancy. Danker says every organization is having to make tough choices right now Planning for the Detroit Grand Prix for 2021 starts now. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4.